Now this time we're going to get darker progressively. What I've just discovered is you can very quickly get back to black if you're not careful. So you have to just put a little bit of um, colour back in, not too much black each time. And you'll end up with a range of what are very dark blues but very tonal. The great thing about acrylic, once it's set, you can actually paint straight over it. So you'll end up with a whole sequence going back. I've skipped that one, that's um, a little bit lighter than I want. I think you get the idea though. Um, and just keep your colours fairly thick but fairly smooth at the same time so you can actually run it into the next colour quite easily. Just let it run down there. And it doesn't matter if you get some variation, that's that that's another thing we're going to deal with later. A little bit of variation on the the tone. Um, maybe gone back too quick there, so bring that back to a bit more blue. Again, I'm just adding a layer of blue over the top, so you're almost getting like a transparent quality to the blues, and that's gone too dark very quickly. I think you got the idea. And then gradually getting darker until we get back to back to black good song We're not showing up very well on your screen, but it is actually slightly subtle as a colour. So that's what we're trying to achieve with the colour mixing. You do a similar effect using straight lines, curved lines, whatever. Get some effects that look like the beach and the sea, the kind of shorelines uh, that we can see um, in all of that. And it, but you get quite a nice effect which um, you'll be able to put into your work at a later stage. Okay, that's the first sort of colour mixing exercise over.